It is a great day. We have just found out that we are having a meetup in Huntington Beach, California, right before VidCon. So on June 20, Second, at 6 p.m., we're having a, a little fire pit meetup where there's gonna be s'mores, drinks, everyone can come. We're hanging out by the fire pits. Huntington City Beach fire pits across from Pacific City. There's a little chihuahua in the background that's really annoying, but hopefully you can still hear this. There's a meetup at Huntington City Beach fire pits across from Pacific City at 6 p.m. on June 22nd, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. We're gonna have marshmallows, s'mores, drinks, everything. So you're gonna come meet the whole crew, Josh, Steve, John, and I. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna have a good time. So today, we are actually in a city called Nogales. It's half in the U.S., half in Mexico. The border splits it right between. And supposedly, U.S. citizens are afraid to come here because there's a lot of drug cartels, a lot of shootings that go around in town. It's just not really a safe place for America. Americans to be on the US or Mexican side. But today we had to, we had to come here. We stayed over last night. It was fine. We we lived. But today we had to come and check out the border. This is not actually what I pictured when I thought of the Mexican border. I mean, maybe it's because of the movies, but I pictured like big barbed wires, a long strip of dirt road, and I mean, maybe it is the other parts. But where we are right now, it's just a huge huge gate. And you can see right through it. You can see there's houses. Those are houses on the Mexican border. You hear that sound? Yeah, that's a power power drill or something like something demonic is over there. It might be the chupacabra. So this this is just a small stop on our way to a ghost town today. So as you can see up, up there, you can see the security truck. But you can also see Mexico right there. This, this is like, um, right here it's like a barbed wire fence up there as well. You can see how these houses right here, and these houses right here, they all look the same. They're like exactly the same. Basically this whole town of Nogales just looks like it, it's, in, it's from Mexico because it's so close. So I'm guessing all the people who um, came over here legally and had houses, they built these houses to look like they were from Mexico. I really wonder how how long it took to build this wall. I mean, it goes on across the whole U.S. border. It must have taken some serious time to build this. So I was just talking to this Border Patrol officer, and unfortunately I couldn't film him because he said it's against that policy. But he was telling me, I was asking why this, why this fence is like not fully solid because he was saying there's tons of problems with like people throwing drugs over and people running them and like passing them and throwing them over. And I was like, why don't you just make it fully solid? And he said it's just because it's not cost effective and when it rains, the water has to go somewhere because Mexico is higher than the US. So the rain has to go somewhere and it wouldn't be cost effective to make this fully solid. So they still have problems with like people tossing drugs over and stuff like that. He said there's been people like throwing rocks at him before and like there's always like people getting shot over here and he said he said we shouldn't walk down this road but he can't tell us not to. So we're going to walk down this road. He said it's a hot day so there's not really that many people out but in this in like cooler days there's people out and this path that we're walking right now isn't super like safe. <laughs> so once we get up here, the road ends and it's just a dirt trail and that's kind of where it's like unsafe. It's just so crazy how these people were just happened to be born three feet to the right of me right now and they're on this side of the wall and we're on this side of the wall. It's like we're all humans, we're all the same species but we're like divided by these huge walls because of where we were born. You want to see in Mexico? This is what Mexico looks like. There's guys over there in the house right there. They're just working. I wish I could talk to them. Hill, it's a lot steeper than I imagined. This pole right here, it has, it looks like it has eight cameras, a couple sirens, night vision cameras, everything right on this tower. So we just, we just got to the top of this hill and this is the US side. This is Arizona right here. See those mountains back there? This is insane. Nice view. Yeah, this is a nice view of Arizona. And then you can see down here, it continues. It looks like the Great Wall, but that's more what I pictured the Mexican border as. Yeah. Just dried land out there. These guard dogs. 
We're we actually found some person. nice people. Get there are a uh, uh, This guy's gonna. Pay us two nombre. Alejandro. Hola, Alejandro. What do you want to ask? What do you want to ask? Uh, uh, ask what's it? Un momento. How do you say what is it like living there in Spanish? Como es la vida allí? Como es la vida allí? Muy bien. How do you say have you ever been to the U.S. in Spanish? Has estado alguna vez en Estados Unidos? Has estado alguna vez en Estados Unidos? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> nice. Um, what else? What else? Uh, How do you say what do you do for a job in Spanish? En qué trabajas? Okay. En qué trabajas? Ah, oh, sí, sí, fábrica. Fabric? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's like a machine worker, I machine think, worker. factory. Oh. Are we your favorite Americans in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gracias por tu tiempo. Okay, yeah. well, gracias. Uh, adios, gracias. Adios. Gracias. Dude, I was just, I was on Google. I just t kept typing into the little thing how to say this in Spanish. And I would talk to him. And I know a little bit of Spanish, so like I could kind of get what he was saying. Like, um, when he said he, he doesn't know how hard it is to get across. I think that's what he said. But um, he comes here frequently, he was saying, and we're actually his favorite Americans. We're in Tombstone, Arizona. It is the oldest living cowboy town in America, obviously. Uh, we're gonna start off by going in the saloon for uh, dinner. So Tombstone, Tombstone was known as a mining town. In uh, 1874, I believe, in 1890, it, it grew massively. It was a big mining town. Lots of uh, people from the gold rush came here and basically it eventually died down and now it almost became a ghost town but then tourism kicked in as you can see and the rebirth of Tombstone. So it's a Friday afternoon, and for some reason everything here is basically closed. Like I really wanted to go to this mustache shop, but it's closed. <clears throat> like all these stores are closed for some reason. We really didn't come at the right time. This man, what did he do? <laughs> he looks very scared, like startled. He's seen some stuff. Does this guy know that this is open? <laughs> I don't think he knows. I think this guy's been sitting here a while. Look at that cat. That poor cat. 